You can make a high voltage power supply using a flyback and a flyback driver. This video will show you how to do it. The first thing you have to do is to take your flyback and wind these two coils over the core. This is the feedback coil and the primary coil. They must be wind in the same direction. Starting from the bottom, wind in this direction, 4 turns for the feedback coils and 6 turns for the primary. After you finish, these 4 wires will be connected to the driver circuit. Remember, the direction is important. This is the diagram of the flyback and the driver circuit. We have the feedback coil, the primary coil and the secondary coil that is internal to the flyback and produces the high voltage output. The circuit works from 6 to 12 volts DC. If you want to use more voltage from 12 to 24, you have to put more turns on the coils, 8 on the feedback and 12 on the primary. And also you have to use a big flyback, otherwise you can burn the transistor or the flyback. This picture will help you identify the pins of the transistor. Here we have the circuit assembled, it is very simple as you can see. The transistor must be mounted on a heat sink. Here we will put from 6 to 24 volts DC and here we have the connections that will go to the flyback coils. Now we have to connect the driver with the coils of the flyback. It is easy because you will connect in the same order, that is the first wire of the flyback with the first of the driver, second with second and so on. Another thing that is convenient is to eliminate the suction cup of the flyback. We don't need it, so just cut the wire here. We are now ready to test the flyback driver. The negative pin of the flyback will be the pin that will form the electric arc with the positive. We will apply voltage to the driver and bring the positive close to the pins. One of the pins will form the electric arc. That pin will be our negative. Let's try first with 6 volts. We can see that this is the negative pin of the flyback. Once you have identified the negative or ground of the flyback, place a mark on it and cut all the other pins. Now solder a piece of wire size 14 to 18 AWG to the negative pin and put a piece of heat shrink tubing to help the isolation. We don't want arcs between the pins of the flyback that will reduce the efficiency. One way to prevent them is to put wax from a candle above the pins. Ok, we are now ready. Let's try our circuit with 12 volt input.
One thing you can make once you have a high voltage power supply is a Jacobs ladder. A Jacobs ladder is just a couple of wires in a V shape. You connect one of the wires to the positive of the flyback and the other to the negative. Now let's try with 6 volts to see how it works.